I'm on board with the Team Evil. Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a hokey dokey couple in love that loves <laughs> reacting to some Hong Kong Star Rail. Well done. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, yeah, it's nice. It's nice when I can get her to, to laugh and just know it's coming. I definitely didn't. <laughs> so uh, this is the Myriad Celestia trailers that we're checking out. Um, it says all of them. And uh, the last one that was updated in here, that's when we're reacting to this, came out like seven days ago. It's uh, Revisiting a Past Dreams. Um, something might come out after that. Um, so I apologize if that. it's not, not going to be in there because, you know, it's, it's just the way it goes. It's the way it goes. If you want all of our reactions to Honkai Star Rail, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist. Um, you'll see us in costume as Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit. Um, yes. from when we <laughs> did a character draft for this. Uh, we take that some of the ultimates as well. So, all right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's make an exchange, shall we? Okay. What do you offer? An exchange of memories. I dreamed of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. Cool. Wow. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar radiance. Go now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march towards the light. Okay, okay. The destruction. Yet that light began to burn, piercing through the clouds as a golden death. Towers crumbled, and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set and meet with vicious destruction. But be not dismayed, O oh child of the world. The Lux Arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. The celestial one guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Let your staff strike the earth, they say, once. And again, nails. Mm -hmm. the tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches will rid you of sickness and poison. Blindfold your eyes, they say, that the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. Very pretty. Your stride. Is it eyes? Got eyes? Is it open the majestic gate? Celestial blob? Say, and lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. Then they say, Oh, you who have reached the end. Enter into the paradise that envelops all. She's a puzzle. In this great choir and feast, listen to the beating of the living tribunal. Of billions of hearts holding you in their embrace. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariners in temperance. Listen to the infant in a mirror, the waves as they enter the dream, the tipping of the balance, the shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself and take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk. They say. A train? Mm-hmm. Achievilly, depart once more. Achievilly. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one? It will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. Promise? Hmm. That was trippy. 
Yeah. I regret to admit it, but the Xianzhou have very few legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. It began 8,000 years ago, when the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality. He sent our Sienjo ancestors kind of the into thing. the astral seas. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. You have a good legacy, you are. After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces of the divine. The planes she's again now. revealed <laughs> themselves and offered an immeasurable lifespan. But the blessing was a curse. Those who exceeded their lifespan became the deathless doom. And thus the Alliance's long and peaceful years were lost in sickness, treachery, blood, and tears. At the very precipice of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Behold at the Marshal's side, six Generals of renown. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's Claw. Oh, what a name. <laughs> Strong and righteous is Hua Yen, the Flaming Heart. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang, the Seer Strategist. Mighty and powerful is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Mysterious and fair is your Wu, the Patina Justice. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the Divine Foresight. So that's their name, then. What's the, one, the, the name on the top right? The Arbiter Generals wield extraordinary powers. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. Maybe one is like With their title? Skillful hmm. sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borson soon, with crushing loss, were met. An army must be of one heart and mind. Or skillful sleight of hand is little use. Cool pet lion. The mm -hmm. Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! The hunt is with us! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Solid. Quite the story, Master Gong Shu. Kafka. So you understand Stellar everything that's going on too, right? Oh, totally. Okay. Yeah. How do you plead? Totally ace the test on this. Ooh, good music. The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but the Japella Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the afterlife. Admit your guilt and embrace your punishment. Demons. I'm listening. <laughs> How do the Stellaron hunters plead to the following accusations? You breached the premises of the Atuin Universal Auction, manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of a devout audience, inflicted monetary damage amounting to over 860 billion credits, and absconded with the auction. Billion or billion? How do you plead? I heard Guilty as charged, but not a devout audience. You infiltrated the cyber prison of Inupis, stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality, consequently propelling the world to 
was a judgment day, all in order to take the meta code. How do you plead? I admit it, but those data demons deserve a taste of freedom. You violated the ring world Golconda, disseminated the Philosopher's poison virus across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, and stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, silencing the entire world. How do you plead? I don't know about Bellman, but it sounds like you did a bad thing, doesn't it? Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. But sure, we took the thing. <laughs> Trovis disappearance. The Law 51 Stellaron event. Cyber attacks against the planet Skrulum. The Beerpoint incursion. And so on. A total of 46 criminal cases. Do you admit that all these malicious incidents were the work of the Stellaron hunters? <laughs> if you ask me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. But I confess, it seems you forgot one, though. The Japella Rebellion. Did you just deprive them of all their power? Maybe. Somehow she got out of there. Okay. You should really stop playing with your food, Kafka. I know. Next time. This time, it's already too late. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's awesome. She's my favorite. She's badass. Yeah. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. I, too, know little of the progenitor of all dragons. Before the dawn of history, long traversed the burgeoning chaos, seeking the answer to existence. And on that path, the revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Then came our emergence, us, long scions. I visited Liaris, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon sat overseeing the turning of day and night, the change of seasons, shelter, the lives within. Could the revelation of the permanent signify the timeless nature of one's greatness? The relentless pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below, bringing forth a flourishing land. Long silence that is immersed throughout countless worlds, living in solitude. In the vastness of the universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyata formed an alliance with the Xianzhou and that five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague moths. Perhaps the permanence is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. The high elders, too, bear mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective, what does the Permanence's revelation truly signify? As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world undergoes continuous change. So the concept of stability is meaningless. Only by comprehending and aligning with the way of the world can one's path lead to everlasting existence. Countless new creations emerge when one dragon meets its end among the morning stars. For the Vidyatara, this is the true teaching of the permanence. Within the cycle of life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a new journey. And for him, it is no different. Mm-hmm. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. 
What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Vengeance. Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword champion. He told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. So, it was the allure of renown. I also wanted to live up to the General's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Where would I be without him? Then you wish to forge deeper ties. It's more than that. One day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, defending the Wafu and striking down those who threaten us, putting my abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> In the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's with all the questions, miss? Why did you choose the path of the sword? I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in the end, the sword moves beyond such notions. For the sword is just a sword. The is unbelievable. Determining life mm. and death, nothing can tarnish its essence. Only when you've walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment can you understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword. Do you understand now, future sword champion? I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Nothing more. <laughs> and now, our battle begins. Hey there, you! Yes, you! Wait for you. The gem filled with endless potential! Hold on! The IPC's gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be harnessed for intergalactic peace. Do you have the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins? If so, our marketing development department is rolling out the red carpet just for you. With the nameless Oswaldo Schneider leading the way, a vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. If you're someone who values structure and logic, our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine with products twinkling like a million stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. Heard of hyperdistant delivery systems and synesthesia beacons? What was once science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got an idea that's nothing short of genius? Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for you. Join us and team up with the Intelligentsia Guild. Oh, oh yeah. Before the luminous see that. of the Amber Lord, know that the Building Material Logistics Department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every show new place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brit will form the backbone of our formidable subspace bear. If you're someone whose quality is going to be like an every universe or single corporation, and yielding mm -hmm. in the hearts of storms, this message is for you. At the Strategic Investment Department, talent is the most precious investment of all. Origin, background, irrelevant. Diamond seeks out the unique and the extraordinary. Those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth falls. The, the transitions that are uh, in all these division, videos are just very impressive. Mm -hmm. Top talent deserves top perks. And that's why the talent motivation department was established. Every task you undertake serves as a pioneering spark that sets beer points passion ablaze. For those seasoning the craft and still hold on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. Witness the traditional project department's Has great it? supervisor or <laughs> reader. Like ready to little paper. The treasure yeah. paper tied on veils. I can also make paper hat. Take the leap, join our ranks, and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. The mighty hammer of the Amber Lord has struck. A realm of endless opportunities beckons. We're waiting for you. 
all for the Amber Lord. No thanks. When the Xian Show people roam the galaxy, they inevitably meet strange beings. So lots of spooky stories start with these encounters. On one such occasion, a new Ten Lords Commission judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Excuse me? You won. Where are your manners? Ooh. Baby. Careful. Huh? Are you okay? Let me help you out. <laughs> yeah, watch where you go. This one has a different tone than the other. The door isn't gonna hold much longer. Knock, knock. Oh, pause it, man. The door's coming down. <laughs> down! <laughs> you asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? This is what you faced on your first day! Why are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> Did you just kill her? I know. Yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> That's enough courage training for today. Oh, is that like an anti-ghost pillow? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mother, your letters are always welcome. The plum blossoms bloom and wither, and I occasionally catch a scent of loneliness. I once again am thinking back to the research in my childhood. Together with you in no man's land. <clears throat> that comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. I understood the fastness of the universe too like early. An octopus in the ice or something? And every other kid. Lots of ice. Yeah. I also thought it had lots of light, like tentacles or whatever. on the screen. Oh. Is she playing the game that she's in? That Worry would be not, my dear assistant. I will reward you. Okay. The 
Anacone, planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. <laughs> the golden blood will flow from the destruction as an offering to them. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. Akash, I lit the fire in your eyes and showed you music of the strings. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Dubra, I set your form alight and taught you mastery of the blade. Temper it with sulfur, made the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. Katarina, I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. <laughs> and Constance at last. Got four kids? My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? I got that much. Since when have those on child of destruction for your dead? I think it's a base. Base? Still, it is wise to plan ahead, Father. What is our fallback if things become perilous? Fall back? Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay. There's some crazy designs and mm -hmm. characters. Relish Pinacone, see for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. Ifrit, Duke Inferno, Ever Flame Mansion. Ah, oh, I'm on board with Team Evil. They had the coolest characters. A dazzling item. Are you looking for its owner? <laughs> Allow me. Is your fortune teller return? Right? Using your memories as a medium. She just strikes me as very Genshin impact. Yeah. And same uh, creators, same company. Some crazy balloons. Mm hmm. I don't know what the design choice is for some. Sometimes they like don't have eyes, other times they don't have mouths. I mean, I know in some of the characters it's just like, I don't know, save time. The truth does not lie, neither do memories. But the main characters may not have it.
predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast profound sea and that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities wow uh so yeah uh could you like really begin to tell you what the hell was going on in these um but like just the way like it started out with um the different like uh celestial characters um visually uh, a feast for the for the eyes um and something that like even though like i said what they were saying like i was not able to able to connect the dots and like understand what was going on like the the visuals uh, had me entranced and hooked and like entertained throughout the like entire time i'm like yeah i was just like i said the transitions that they had between the different shots i like i was kept looking for how how they kept uh, the different ways in which they were going to transition from one to the other. And like, I think like maybe the dragon one was one of my favorite ones. Um, I don't know what my favorite one was <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. I think what I loved was just how diverse the different, uh, yeah. like trailers, I, I guess they're trailers. Yeah. Yeah. The trailers, um, the different trailers were even with taking on totally different tones and styles, mm -hmm. the artwork just throughout and some of the details that we even were picking up on throughout were yeah. pretty remarkable. I mean, just, it was, it was gorgeous to look at. Mm -hmm. um, and often the narrator was like a very soothing voice. The narration yeah. really fit the artwork and style and tone. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that for, for us, because we're just not dialed into the Honkai universe, that's probably why in large part listening to this, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but like it could have been in another language <laughs> that I connected the dots and retained the actual information. But it was beautiful and like I enjoyed it, even though it it kind of didn't sink in in large mm -hmm. part, I think, because it doesn't necessarily mean anything to us yet since we're not we're not invested in this world at this time um, the way that we would be in something like. Genshin or Uncharted mm -hmm. or like, you know, some other ones where we we've, we've spent a lot of time in the lore and the world and gotten to know the characters and are therefore naturally more inclined to be like, wait a minute, what is this story? Who is this connected to? Like, I need to know how this is impacting my favorite characters from this and and the different pieces like that. But I mean, I, I did enjoy it, even though I feel like I, I didn't do justice to watching it because I didn't walk away with as much as I probably should have. Uh, it's a, it kind of reminds me of uh, a song where like the the beat and the music itself is something that you recognize and get into, uh, and the lyrics are there, but almost sort of like almost like a background, and um, you're not necessarily really listening to the lyrics and the story being told. There was one thing that I, I took away from it, and then I completely forgot now what it was. It wasn't like the the plundering, or it began with the P, and they brought it up a couple of times. <laughs> The phasing, the oh god, it was like there was a, a certain a certain moment. Like it was in one of them where uh again with going back with the the dragons, and they kept like asking certain questions. And it's like, so how did this uh mm. um come to be? Like and then yep. um I know what you're talking about. I don't remember yeah. what it was either, but I know yeah. what you're talking about. And then they brought up again in like the evil people trailer, which I really like the evil people. <laughs> Uh, you know, we got, I got a fire fire guy and uh, chain girl. And... Chick with like the bayonetta shoes. Yeah, yeah, chick with the bayon bayonetta shoes. And then the one that was like a doll and like had like, the, but the true character was like the big ass Grim Reaper that was behind. But like she was also wearing like a Pope hat with a cross on it. It was, I mean, it was very interesting design. Yeah, the design for that was, was fantastic. Um, and uh, a girl who, uh, Name began with a K, um, and she was like on trial, and they kept talking to her yeah. about you know the different things that she crimes that she had committed, and she was confessing to all of them. She's like, oh yeah, but you've got one more. It's about <laughs> to happen right now, bitches. Yeah, that was great. She was amazing. I think out of all the trailers, I kind of understood that one the most. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most straightforward. Um, and then maybe the one where like the kid uh, is running around scared of everything and then gets like the life scared oh, out of her. That poor kid. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm done with this ghost training or whatever. 
Yeah. I felt so bad for her. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. She was so cute. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for a Myriad Celestial Trailers by Honkai Star Rail. But you keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>